concepts of walks, trails and paths are discussed in this video. So these topics are from Craft TV. So at the end of the video, you will get complete knowledge on what is a walk, trail and path. And now let's get started to learn about walk. A walk of a graph G is defined as an alternating sequence of vertices and edges. So we have to take alternatively one vertex, one edge, one vertex, one edge and so on till the end. See here, for example, if I take four vertices V1, V2, V3, V4 and four edges E1, E2, E3 and E4. So if I take V1, E1, V2, E2, Vt, V3, E3, V4, E4. So this is nothing but the walk. So alternate in an alternative sequence, we have to take the vertices and edges. A walk joining V0, Vn is called a walk. See, whatever the walk we have done from starting point till the ending point, it is called the walk. The first point is called, the first vertex is called the initial vertex and the final vertex is called the terminal vertex. So, for example, if you see, this is the vertex, this is the edge, vertex, edge, vertex, edge, vertex, edge. So, this is nothing but the walk. So, this is the initial vertex and this is the terminal vertex. For example, I have taken this one. And next one, what is the length of the walk? The number of edges in a walk is called the length of the length of the walk. See here, for example, if I take like this. So, the number of edges here, how many edges are there? E1, this is E2 and this one is E3, this one is E4 and this one is E5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, the length of the walk is nothing but 5 here in this example. And next, what is a trivial walk? The length of the walk is 0. So, if there are no edges, so if the edges are zero, then what remains? Only the vertex remains. Then the walk has no edges and it contains only a single vertex. So this is the vertex. So V1 or V0. Such a walk is called the trivial walk. So now it is a trivial walk. Only a single vertex. Single vertex without having no edges. And such a walk is called trivial walk. So length of the edges is nothing but the number of edges. See here, the number of edges of the walk is nothing but the length of the walk. So clear? So clear about this walk? So now this walk is of two types. Trails and paths. And let's start about trails. Trail is also a walk. See here. What is a trail? A walk is called a trail if all its edges are distinct. So if you have different, different edges and that such a walk is called a trail. For example, if you take this one, if you take this graph with vertices V1, V2, V3, V4 and V5. So here there is a condition that edges should be distinct. So there is no repetition of edges. So repetition of edges is not possible here. Whereas we can repeat the vertices in a trial. See here in a trial we can repeat the vertices but not the edges. So it is also a kind of walk where we see different different edges. Edges means lines. See here this is the graph given. And in this graph what is a trial? So trial is nothing but so there is no repetition of uh, edges here. So we have to select. See this is for example if I walk like this V1 to V2. And the next one if I walk to V4. So this is V4. And next this side V3. And next to V2. And next to V2. And next to V5. So this is V5. And next to V4. So this is V4. See starting from v1 v1 to v2 see here v1 to v2 and next v2 to v4 and v4 to v3 v3 to v2 next v2 to v5 and uh, next v5 to v4 here if you observe this one each edge is used for only once so this is one so v1 to v2 so this is the first edge v2 to v4 and this is the second edge and next v4 to to v3 this is the third edge and v3 to v4 v2 again so this is the fourth edge and next v2 to v5 this is the fifth edge and next v5 to v6 so this is the sixth edge total we have six edges one two three four five and six 
so we got six edges here that is one two three four and so on so here i have used each and every edge for only once so this is the first edge v2 to v4 is the second edge and v4 to v3 is the third edge and next one v4 to v4 next v3 to v2 v3 to this is the fourth edge this one is the fifth one and this one there is no repetition in the edges they are distinct edges but there is a repetition in the vertices see here v2 is the vertex repeated for twice see here in a trial in a in a trial there is a repetition in vertices but there shouldn't be repetition in the edges so here this is an example and next one if i take another root here if i take another root see here this is v1 to v2 i'm talking about trial here so this is about the trial trial 2 v1 to v2 next v2 to v3 v3 to v4 v4 to v2 and again v2 to v5 and v5 to v4 see here root i have taken so this is the walk i have taken v1 to v2 and next v2 to v3 so this is v3 and v3 to v4 and next v4 to next v4 to v2 and next v4 v2 to v5 and next this is v4 see here v1 to v2 so this is v1 to v2 so this is the first edge i have used v2 to v3 v2 to v3 is the second edge and next v3 v4 so this is the third edge and uh, v4 to next one the root i have taken this one is fourth one so this is the fourth edge so v2 to v5 so this is the fifth edge and this one sixth edge so this is the sixth edge if you observe carefully i have uh, there is no repetition in the edges 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Whereas there is the repetition in the vertices. See here, I have crossed V2 for two times. So this V2 I have crossed V1 to V2, V2 to V3, V3 to V4, V4 to again V2. So this vertex is repeated for twice repeated twice and whereas there is no repetition in the edges and such a kind of walk is called trail got it such a walk is called trail and next the second kind of walk is nothing but the path see here a walk is called a path if all its vertices are distinct there is no repetition in the vertices as well as edges so path should be very very strictly you have to follow there shouldn't be any repetition in the word vertices and edges also a walk is called a path if all its vertices are distinct and see here so this is the graph given v1 v2 v3 v4 and v5 so what is the path we have to select where there are no repetitions in the vertices and edges and see so for this graph i'll this is path one so path and show an example here so for this graph i have taken one path that is v1 to this is v2 v1 to v2 and next this is v3 and next this is v4 and next this is v5 see are there any repetitions in the vertices no are there any repetitions in the edges no see here v1 to v2 so i have taken this first edge and next v2 to v3 so this is the second edge so this is one this is two v3 to v4 so this is the third edge i have taken selected and next v4 to v5 so this is the fourth edge i have taken and next so there are four distinct edges and there are five vertices so there is no repetition in the vertices as well as repetition in the edges so such a walk is called path see here i'm taking another path here if you don't understand so at least to concentrate you will be understanding this path so this is a path so this is also a kind of walk where vertices and edges should not repeat so i'm going this way this is v1 to v2 and next i'm going to v4 and just i'm crossing this v5 so there are four different different distinct vertices and see here I'll show you V1 to V2 is the first edge. So this is the 
second edge and next one so this is the third edge if you observe they are different different edges and distinct vertices so if there is no repetition in the edges as well as uh, vertices we say that such a kind of walk is called path see here i'll show you a walk see here talking about a walk you can take any kind of vertices repetition of vertices and repetition of edges are possible in walk and next walk is of two kinds so first one is trail and the second one is path so if you come across this trail so in a trail if you observe this one I have said you in a trail vertex should repeat can repeat and edges should be distinct there is no repetition in the edges so in a walk vertices can repeat but edges there is no repetition at all the second kind of walk is path so in the path there should be distinct there is no repetition in the vertices and no repetition in the edges see here repetition so walk in walk you can take as many vertices as you can you can repeat in you can walk in any vertex you want you can repeat any vertex and you can also uh, repeat the edges Why, whereas in the trail so vert vertices can be repeated there is a repetition but the edges shouldn't be repeated so there should be distinct edges in the trail whereas in the path it is strictly prohibited no repetition of vertices and no repetition of edges see clear if you understand this walk path and trail please uh, go through my next video also it is on circuits and thank you so much for watching if you really like you know what to do please raise your thumb and pass it on to your friends and practice well